A new twist to a horrific cold case in Connecticut. The remains of four people have been found behind a strip mall in the same area that three other people were discovered dead in 2007. Police believe it's the work of a serial killer. On 48 Hours Crime Siders, Michelle Sagona. This case began eight years ago when police found partial skeletal remains of three women within a one-acre area in New Britain, Connecticut. Then last month, a specialized police dog uncovered four more victims in the same area. One of the newly discovered victims has been identified as Melanie Ruth Camellini, a mother of two from Seymour, Connecticut, who was last seen alive in 2003. The other three identities have not been released yet. Chief James Wardell from the New Britain Police says all of the remains have been handed over to the chief medical examiner for further analysis and identification. As for the suspect, police aren't releasing any information on that person other than saying he or she is not in danger to the public. We do not know whether that person is currently incarcerated or not. The victims identified in 2007 were 40-year-old Mary James Menard, 53-year-old Diane Cusack, and 23-year-old Jovelyn Martinez. Investigators have said in the past that the victims may have had substance abuse problems and were all seen in the late summer of 2003 or early fall of that year. Family members of the 2007 victims spoke out about the newest development. Sad day to find out there's more families involved and probably thousands of people that are touched by them. It just stem stimulates everything right back then. Appreciative that they never gave up. As for the newly uncovered victims, the chief of police said that the rain remains were all skeletal and had likely been at that location for at least 10 years. Keep tracking this case on our website. And for 48 Hours Crime Cider, I'm Michelle Sagona.